Let's take a moment to imagine something. Imagine your dream job. Imagine you've done it for 20 years. Imagine that your life has been built around it. Imagine relying completely on both the income and the joy that it holds for you. Imagine having everything unexpectedly put at risk of being taken away. You might lose your home, your reputation, your family, and your stability, all because someone didn't like the way that you looked. Can you picture it? If so, you're one step closer to understanding the plight that one African-American nurse, Ruth Jefferson, experienced after an encounter with white supremacists. Ruth Jefferson, a skilled labor and delivery nurse, had worked at her hospital for over two decades. She saved her money religiously to put her son through school and supported the family single-handedly. Life was running smoothly until she got a particularly difficult set of patients to look after, two white supremacists that immediately demanded that she not touch their child. When Ruth is left alone with the baby, however, he goes into cardiac arrest. Because of her explicit instructions not to touch the child, Ruth hesitates before attempting to revive him. Throughout this book, you follow the story of Ruth's struggle to maintain her stable life throughout the tides of racism and hatred threatening to put her under after the child dies in her care. In Jody Picoult's recent novel, Small Great Things, the sensitive and difficult topic of racism is boldly discussed. This novel does everything from providing you with a clear view of the shortcomings of society to offering you perspective on the shortcomings within yourself.